Well, thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers and who answers them in His own perfect timing, because His timing is perfect, and His timing will always be perfect. Amen? Amen. And also, where we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and living Word of God, which brings salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and repent of your sins, and if you do all that, it offers you the best gift of all, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you guys for tuning in to another yet encouragement video to be blessed by the living word of God and just to be encouraged overall and so you can make it through your day. Today we got a good, good topic. Um, we're going to be talking about walking through difficult seasons of life and what that means. So we're going to be in Psalms 23 verse 4. If you have your Bibles, would you flip along with me to Psalms 23 verse 4? And as you're flipping that, I'm going to open us up in a brief word of prayer. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for who you are today. Thank you for your love <clears throat> that never fails, despite the mistakes that we made. Thank you for being constant and always remaining, Lord. We love you, Lord. Would you speak to us now by your word? Transform our hearts. Amen. Are right, you guys ready? Psalms 23, verse 4. It says this. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Brothers and sisters, what does this mean? Can we read this one more time? And as we read this a second time, let's ask God that he would speak to us through this verse. You ready? Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. What does this mean? How does this start out? Is even though I walk, do we walk in life? How many of you have to walk? How many of you have two feet? I know I do. I have to walk places. Sometimes I have to run places. Hurry. Even though I walk through what? The darkest valley. Whether it's finding out the news, uh, being rejected by a girl, whether it's being, finding out the news uh, about a health problem, whether it's loot, finding out that I. Someone hacked into my bank account. Darkest Valley. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. Satan wants you to fear evil when you walk through the darkest valley, make you think uh, it's, the end, it's the end of the world. But God says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come for me. God's blood and what he did on the cross for us, the cross of Jesus Christ, it comforts us because he's with us. So my, what is my encouragement for you all today? What's the takeaway? You might be asking. The takeaway is so we can remember when we walk through difficult seasons of life, which we will because it says it in the Bible, that we'll remember that Jesus is with us and he comforts us. His rod and his staff, they comfort us. So that's my encouragement for you all today. Well, if you never came to God before, or you would like to come back to God known as a prodigal son, then I want to give you this opportunity to right now by saying this simple prayer in the silence of your own heart. Um, these words are powerful. Um, yeah, so repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you anymore. You're the only hope I have, Lord, and the only hope I need, Lord, and I repent of all my sins and I turn to you. Amen. Well, if you just pray this prayer today for the first time with us, or we pray this prayer in honor of the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God, or welcome you back into the family of God. Because scripture says, when one walks into the family of God, or one walks back in heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've been praying for for you and for this very moment, because this is truly the most important decision that you can ever make with your life. The world will tell you, oh, do this, or do that, but no. Brothers and sisters, one day, it's going to come where God is going to come back and end things for once and for all and take us home. It's going to come. We don't know when. No one knows the day of, of the Lord's return. But we have to be ready. We have to be ready for that day. Um, so this is the most important decision. Well, brothers and sisters, um, if you just made this decision, decision for the first time, or we committed your life to Christ today, 
I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this important decision they made today. We don't want to market you at all. We don't want to pressure you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this very important decision they made today. And most importantly, we just want to be praying for you because we truly believe in the power of prayer. And we want to be covering you with prayer as you continue along this journey and your faith that you made today. Well, brothers and sisters, can I bless you all today with the living word of God? May you bring your hands up to receive it. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that even though you walk through the darkest valley, I will feel no evil, for you are with me. God is with us, friends. Let's remember that every day, no matter what we walk through in life. Brothers and sisters, if you were guys were encouraged by this video, would you guys please do me a favor by clicking on that share button and sharing this video with someone else that you think needs to be blessed by the living word of God. If you guys just need prayer, you guys would like to talk, please feel free to reach out. I'm here for you all. And until next time, keep Christ number one and have a very blessed day. Peace.